battle finally draws to a close in this week's Bleach Chapter 509, Tenchi Kaijin. So Bach can't believe his eyes as Yamamoto's Bankai is bringing life back to the dead. He explains though that his blade calls forth those that he's killed so far in this battle against the Quincy's only. Not a trillion like it was translated. Bach says that this is still no match for him as he charges Yamamoto but is blocked by an entire wall of skeletons. Yama continues to just taunt the hell out of him saying that he's all talk because his eyes are clearly fearful. He points out that he needs to take a closer look at the bones that he's destroying because they are those of his fallen Quincy comrades. Yamamoto starts to walk away as Bach is being engulfed by these corpses but he tells him that if he wants to kill him to go right ahead. All he needs to do is beat these subordinates first. Then Yama begins figuring out why Bach hasn't stolen his Bankai. It's not because he didn't want to but rather he couldn't steal it because of its limitless power and he even compares it to Ichigo's immature Bankai which still has the potential to grow. Yama declares that this is the end for Bach who proceeds to scream like an idiot. His ridiculous screaming leads Yama to say that it's pretty obvious he still has the heart of a human. And Bach continues to panic and scream how he can't be stopped. However, Yama says that he can see those tears in his eyes. He says that it must be awful to fight his comrades, but that pain is nothing compared to the hatred he's caused by killing his fellow soul reapers. With this, we finally see Zonka no Tachi North, Tenchi Kaijin. This practically cuts Bach in half, and he's down for the count. Yama's Bankai begins to fade away as Bach starts to apologize for his lack of power. To Juha Bakusama. The chapter ends here. Okay, this was good, but I am left seriously confused at the end of this. First thing is, why is Bok so suddenly concerned about his subordinates? I mean, earlier when Yamamoto toasted three of them right in front of him, he was like, ah, oh, well, fuck it, they got in the way. Now, he's crying about how he doesn't want to fight them. His character just seemed to do a complete 180 from being this sullen, extremely powerful leader capable of handling an eye-patchless Kenpachi. Speaking of, where the hell is he at? Now he's this terrified, crying little weakling. This is obviously because he's not going to be the main villain, but I'll get to that later. Second, I was slightly disappointed by Zonka no Tachi North. I think a lot of us expected something insane having to do with the sun or a freaking meteor or some shit, and it was simply just a one-hit KO, which isn't a bad thing because that's an aspect we all pretty much guessed the North would have, but it was just the swing of his sword. Yamamoto's Bankai is still freaking badass, I won't deny that, and I'm glad North had the power to obliterate most of Bach's torso, but I was just mildly shocked that it wasn't some enormous attack from the sky. Lastly, Bach's final words raised the question, who is the real Juha Bach? Obviously, this guy is not the final villain, he's been defeated, and the real Bach is someone else. But Yamamoto has been calling him Bach during this entire fight. All of his subordinates have recognized him as their majesty. He was powerful enough to beat Kenpachi, so... What the fuck is going on? I still have some thoughts about the blonde hair Quincy, but I'm not 100% on that. Maybe it's just Aizen, and everyone is under his illusion, and next week he's gonna pop up next to Yamamoto and be like, just as planned. I don't know, overall, good chapter. Glad this battle with the imposter Bach is over, so now we can get back to Hueco Mundo, get Ichigo out of the jail, and find out who the mystery swordsman was from nine chapters ago. But here's my question for everyone. Who is Juha Bach? Is it one of the other Quincy's? Is it Aizen? Who the hell is it? Also, what did you think of Zonka no Tachi North? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you so-so about it like I was? That's it for this week, but I'll return next week for Chapter 510. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I shall see you all next time. Peace.